Top 10 Best African Presidents 2020 Hello Explorers, welcome to another informative video and thanks for watching. In this video, we shall be looking at the best African leaders. With the numerous crop leaders that make up the continent's elite, we find it an absolute delight and pleasure to present to you some of the good apples on the tree. In this video, we shall be bringing to you the top 10 best African presidents and the reasons we consider them as such. If you are new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our daily uploads. These leaders are not considered flawless, but we consider them as some of the best based on their policies as president, achievements while in office and approval ratings by both followers as well as opposition. So let's jump right into this. Here are the top 10 best African presidents of 2020, of course in no particular order. Number 10. Cyril Ramaphosa, President of South Africa Starting off at number 10 is a man who has left his mark both in the hearts of his citizens as well as on the international scene. Markets rallied strongly the day after Ramaphosa assumed the presidency, with stocks rising and Iran reaching its firmest since early 2015, with government bonds also increased in strength. He has been instrumental in fighting corruption in the country, especially within his own party, which has gained positive remarks and applause from his opposition as well. Since Ramaphosa became president, he has made the land reforms and economy his main priorities, as well as dealing with the outbreak of listeriosis, which has claimed the lives of over 100 since the start of 2018 with major results. Under his leadership, the African National Congress has pushed for a constitutional amendment allowing the government to confiscate farms owned by white South Africans. When South Africa made world headlines because of attacks against foreign nationals within the borders of the country, with many South Africans blaming foreign nationals for the country's socio-economic issues, Ramaphosa launched the Youth Employment Service Initiative as a means to employ 1 million youth and giving them more experience in the working field, with the South African government even introducing the Employment Tax Incentive, which will reduce employers' costs when hiring youth. We have a dedicated video on the top 10 things you didn't know about President Cyril Ramaphosa. Click on the card on your screen to check it out. Number 9. Sally Wok Zode, President of Ethiopia Sally Wok Zode is the current President of Ethiopia and the first woman to hold the office. Sally Wok makes it to this category not only because she is the only female serving head of state in Africa, but also because of her numerous efforts to make not only Ethiopia a great nation, but also as a beacon of hope to Africans. In December 2019, Sally Wok was named the 93rd most powerful woman in the world by Forbes and the highest ranking African woman on the list. While the world was in panic with the outbreak of the coronavirus pandemic, Sally Wok showed her countrymen that she is thinking of their well-being as of the 25th of March 2020. Sally Wok announced on Twitter that she has pardoned more than 4,000 prisoners in a move to curb the spread of the COVID-19 pandemic in Ethiopia. She also pardoned more than 1,500 prisoners on 2nd April 2020. The new president has been keen to make a point about gender equality right from the start. President Sally Wok's appointment has been welcomed by Ethiopians on social media, with many calling it historic. She has also been described as Ethiopia's first female head of state of the modern era, with some remembering Empress Zoeditu, who governed the country in the early part of the 20th century. Number 8. Maki Zhao, President of Senegal Maki Sall is the current president of Senegal since April 2012, who was re-elected in February 2019. Since taking office, he has been inspiring his people with many of his policies and actions. While most African leaders are striving to rule their various countries onto their deathbed, he is one of the very few to rather fight to shorten the presidential term of office and was awarded the 2020 Son Hak Peace Prize. He got the award for successfully shortening the presidential term from 7 to 5 years and reviving the economy through transparent policies, thereby spreading mature democracy to neighboring countries on the African continent, where the long-term dictatorship and poverty still abound. In accordance with his promise to reduce state spending, he curtailed some ministerial perks, announced an audit of his predecessor's administration, and cancelled 59 projects and agencies which were judged unnecessary. He ended several contracts within the presidential palace and limited the salaries of the directors of agencies, but also increased the number of minister councillors. He re-established the court of the registration of illegal enrichment and announced the creation of a national anti-corruption office and a national commission for the restitution of property and recovery of wrongly acquired possessions, as well as annulling some of the final decrees and contracts signed by Wade. To reduce the cost of living, he lowered the price of oil, rice and sugar. In February 2013, Saro secured $7.5 billion for his economic development plan, dubbed Emergent Senegal, designed to transform Senegal into an emergent economy by 2035 through investments in agriculture, infrastructure and tourism. Saro's government also moved toward the establishment of a new universal healthcare system. 
retirement pensions were revalued, farmers received emergency subsidies, and the 29 permits issued to foreign deep sea trawlers by the preceding government were annulled. In advance of the new school year, national conference on education were scheduled. He is also making sure to repair relations with countries like Morocco, Mauritania, and the Gambia, restoring Senegal's diplomatic role in Africa. Number 7. João Manuel Lorenzo, President of Angola. João Manuel Gonzalez Lorenzo is an Angolan politician who has served as President of Angola since 26 September 2017, after defeating former President Eduardo dos Santos, who ruled the country for over 38 years. Lorenzo was seen as a breath of fresh air given how corrupt his predecessor was, hence giving him a high approval rating among his people and abroad. The multilingual president who speaks Portuguese, Russian, Spanish, English and his indigenous languages since taking office has used his experience as a former banker to enhance the economy of Angola, reviving it from deterioration it had been suffering for decades. He was awarded the Green Collar of the Green Order of Prince Harry, which indicated his efforts at getting international recognition as well. Number 6. George Weir, President of Liberia The former professional footballer George Mane Opong Weir is a Liberian politician currently serving as the 25th President of Liberia in office since 2018. The former player retired in 2003 after a great 18 years career of playing football professionally to become the first former professional footballer to become head of state and he was also the fourth youngest serving president in Africa, marking Liberia's first democratic transition in 74 years. When he took office, he became a great source of inspiration to the youth of Africa at large being so young given Africa's track record of old age presidents. He cited fighting corruption, reforming the economy, combating illiteracy and improving life conditions as the main target of his presidency. It is easy to see that President Weir is a role model for many young Liberians growing up in a slum in the capital, Monrovia, becoming one of the world's most famous football stars and then going back to school and university afterwards to finish his education before winning the presidency. What a beacon of hope and inspiration for youth at large. Number 5. Rock Mark Christian Kabore, President of Burkina Faso Rock Mark Christian Kabore is a Burkina Bay politician and banker and the President of Burkina Faso. In office since 2015, upon taking office, he became the first non-interim president in 49 years without any past ties to the military. President Kabore won the hearts of Burkina Faso even before gaining the presidential office as he campaigned fiercely against former president Blaise Camparores to change the constitution and run for a third term. He has gained the admiration of his main opposition leaders by ensuring that he fights corruption, nepotism and embezzlement in Burkina Faso. Rock is still working tirelessly to give his country a good name on the international scene, especially in reduction of poverty and adoption of sustainable development goals. Number 4. Danny Fore, President of Seychelles Coming in at number 4 is the United Seychelles Party candidate Danny Fowry, who was sworn in office on the 16th of October 2016 with the resignation of his predecessor James Mikel. Fowry makes it to this list as one of the few African leaders with almost a clean state when it comes to corruption and mismanagement of public funds, as well as his efforts to keep the planet safe. He has successfully established global significance in protecting significant areas such as national parks, wilderness areas and marine reserves as well as the oceans deep. On 14th April 2019, Foray visited a British research submersible and made a speech from underwater, pleading for stronger protections for the world's oceans. As a result of such noble efforts, on 13th June 2019, Foray was awarded the National Geographic Society's prestigious Planetary and Leadership Award at the National Geographic Award Ceremony at the George Washington University in Washington, D.C. He dedicated the award to the people of Seychelles, saying that the Seychelles people have been working hard with him in preserving nature and the environment. Such nobility on his part is a call for applause and reason he is loved and his approval ratings are high within and out of his country. Number 3. Adama Barrow, President of Gambia Adama Barrow is a Gambian politician and real estate developer who is the third and current president of the Gambia in office since 2017. Adama Barrow has goals to make Gambia a functioning institutional democracy after since assuming the office of the presidency. With his background in banking and real estate, he is implementing major reforms in both sectors with the backing of the Gambian people. Adama has also smoothened the path to encourage foreign investors into the country by relaxing the country's policies such as uplifting the ban that was formerly on gambling. He also released over 171 prisoners who were imprisoned under the regime of his predecessor without trial. Barrow signed a treaty abolishing the death penalty as a part of the second optional protocol to the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights. 
He also signed the International Convention on the Protection of the Rights of All Migrant Workers and Members of Their Families, the International Convention on the Protection of All Persons from Enforced Disappearances, the United Nations Convention on Transparency in Treaty-Based Investor State Arbitration, and the Treaty on the Prohibition of Nuclear Weapons. These and more has made Adama one of Africa's favorite presidents. Number 2. Paul Kagame, President of Rwanda Paul Kagame is the fourth and current president of Rwanda, having taken office in 2000 when his predecessor, Pastor Bizimungu, resigned. He has been described as the most impressive and among the most repressive African leaders. In a recent election, he won 93% of the vote against the 4% won by the opposition parties. After the genocide in Rwanda, where the Hutus tried to kill every Tutsi, he has been able to bring the Tutsi and the Hutu together by placing a number of Hutus in important positions in parliament. He is seen as a gender equality advocate as he has the largest representation of women in parliament in the entire world. He has brought a war torn country into an almost economic miracle. The education system he has brought in has produced one of the highest literacy rates in Africa of about 78%. There is now a good tourist industry helping this in the cleanliness of the place which now must be one of the cleanest places in Africa. His country is open for business and is doing well. He hopes to make it into an African Singapore. Most people seem to like him and accolades have been poured on him from VIPs from around the world. We have a dedicated video on Paul Kagame. Click on the card on your screen to check it out. Number 1. Nana Ado Dankwa Akufo Ado, President of Ghana Nana Ado Dankwa Akufo Ado is currently the President of Ghana who was elected only on the 7th of January 2017 but is currently keeping solid footprints on the sands of history and currently holds the title as the best African President. A Canadian-based research organization, Leaders of Tomorrow, has named Ghana's President Nana Akufo Ado Africa's best president following a poll that the organization conducted. Akufo Ado tops the list of the research organization's recently released Most Outstanding African Presidents list. Similar research conducted by US-based think tank World Vision Forum placed the Ghanaian president first on the list for Africa and third on the list for world presidents with vision. According to the Canadian research team since winning the 2016 elections, Akufo Ado has proved himself a man of the people with his positive policies, including free secondary education, his commitment to Ghana's development and almost no corruption which has won him a high approval rating. There you have it, Dispers. Those were the top 10 best African presidents. Thanks for watching this video. If you want us to cover any of your top 10 topics, leave us suggestions in the comments and we will do well to grant your request. Also, if you did enjoy this video, do well to give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe and share with your friends.